In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Zango server on Ubuntu 20.10. So first of all, you have to uh, update your current system and if you did it before, you don't need to do this step. Uh, I am running the update command here. So do apt get update. After update, you can check the Python version. Uh, we know on Windows 20, Python 3.8 is installed by default. I am checking the version here, Python 3, Python Bix. Now I will run the command to install Django on Ubuntu. Okay, our Django is installed now. And now I will create my first Django project here uh, by uh, using the Django admin command. And you can check the install version by running this command Django admin. Version. You can see the version is 2.2.16. Now I'll create a Django project. Okay, here my project name is my Django project. Now I will go to the project folder. CVD, my project folder name. Okay, uh, now I will run the migrate command to apply necessary migration. Uh, for my project, so the command is but three manage dot by migrate. Okay, here we'll uh, see the uh, migration default migration that is applied on my project. Now I will create user to access the Zango administration dashboard. So the command is python tree manage dot py create super user. If you keep this field blank then uh, default Ubuntu username will be set for the username. I, I am keeping it blank now and uh, you can set email address and uh, give a password to login in the dashboard. Type the same password again. You will get this message if you will type very simple password. For now I am using the simple password so I will type yes. Okay, now I can run the server, python3, manage.py, run server.
Okay. By default, uh, Django server started at port 8000. So from the browser, I will check it is working or not. If the space is appeared, that means your Django development server is working properly. Now um, I will uh, open the Django administration dashboard. For this, you have to type slash admin. Uh, set the appropriate username and password here. I have created the Username in my previous step, so I will log in from here. And after uh, providing appropriate username and password, you will get this key. In this way, you can start any new Zango project on your Ubuntu. If you are new on uh, Zango framework, then I hope this tutorial will help you. To install it easily and start your project work. Thank you for watching.